Hello, girls and boys. Welcome to Storytime Fun. I dedicate this next story to my fast-paced and fun grandchildren, Summer, Ethan, Denver, and Violet. Today's story is from the Disney's Christmas Storybook. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, A Christmas to Remember. For many months, Snow White had lived quietly with the Seven Dwarfs, sharing their cozy cottage in the woods. When the dwarfs found out she was a princess, fleeing from her stepmother, the queen, they had done everything they could to keep her safe and happy. The girl loved the dwarfs, Doc, grumpy, happy, sleepy, sneezy, bashful, and dopey, as if they were her own family. She cleaned and washed and ironed for them, and each evening when they came home from the mines, she had a hot meal waiting. One December morning, while Snow White was out feeding the forest birds, Doc sat down with the other six dwarfs. Christmas is coming, he said. What say we give Snow White a gifty nift or a, a nifty gift? We need to show our appreciation, said Happy, for all she's done for us. Eh, why not? She deserves something, I guess, said Grumpy. Sleepy said, she could use a new quilt for her bed. How about a lace handkerchief, suggested Sneezy. I have an idea, said Bashful, blushing. Why not give her something from our minds? Something for her to remember us by. Remember us? She's not going anywhere, said Grumpy. Is she? Uh, let's <sighs> hope not, yawned Sleepy. If we work extra hard, said Doc, we could find the perfect piemond, or a diamond. And we've already dug enough gold. We can make her a crown, said Happy. A crown like a princess would wear. Snow White is a princess, Bashful reminded them, in every way. The next day, the dwarfs busied themselves at the mine. In the cottage, Snow White got ready for Christmas, too. First, she made a tray of special cookies, cutting them in shapes of bells and stars and Christmas trees. While the cookies baked, she went into the forest and cut down a dwarf-sized pine tree. She pulled it home on a small sled, gathering red berries and boughs of holly on her way. When she returned, the cottage smelled of warm cinnamon and sugar. The smell was so delicious, it made Snow White quite hungry. But instead of nibbling on the cookies, she laced them on ribbons and hung each on a little pine tree. She draped strings of berries on the branches, singing carols all the while. By the time she had finished decking the walls with holly and beams with mistletoe, Snow White was tired and sat down by the fire to nap. There came a knock, but Snow White had been warned by the dwarfs not to open her door to strangers. Through the window, she saw an old hag returning to the forest, a basket of fruit on her arm. I should have welcomed the poor woman, thought Snow White, but she had to keep her promise to the dwarfs. Little did she know that the visitor was the wicked queen in disguise. When the dwarfs came home and saw the tree, they danced and shouted with delight. Merry Christmas! What a treasure you are, said Happy. Speaking of treasure, said Doc, we have a little surprise for you. From his cloak, 
he brought a small package wrapped in brown paper and placed it under the tree. No squeaking or uh, uh, peeking, he said. You must wait till Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve, Snow White cooked a fine feast of roast fowl and a nut-filled plum pudding. During the evening, her eyes strayed often to the lighted tree and to the package beneath it. While living with her stepmother, she had not received a single gift. When the last slice of pudding was gone and the dwarfs had washed the dishes, Doc at last handed Snow White the small bundle. When she opened it, Snow White gasped with delight. Why, this is lovely! But however did you ever... We made it, said Happy proudly. You're crying, said Doc. Didn't we do it right? Snow White went to the mirror and put on the crown. She felt like a princess once again. Oh, thank you, she said. This is wonderful. And it is even more precious because you put your hearts into it. Shucks, twasn't much, said Bashful. Snow White wore the splendid crown all through the Christmas holiday. Then she wrapped it carefully and tucked it away in a drawer to save for the day when she might once again become a princess. Well, that's it for today. See you next time.